Conservatory has been a prominent feature in the UK for decades. It's usually seen as an inexpensive and practical way to bring light and space to the home. But technology has moved on considerably in recent years and market leader Ultraframe is at the forefront of developing conservatory roof systems that ensure that your new space can be used all year round. So let's take a look at a fantastic example of today's conservatory technology. Debbie, thank you so much for inviting us into your beautiful home and of course your lovely new conservatory. Mm, that's okay, thank you it's for coming. It's absolutely beautiful and there's so much light in here as well, isn't there? Yes, there is. That's one of the things we wanted. We, uh, When we decided to um, get the conservatory, we were extending on the kitchen and I wanted somewhere for my dining table, but I also wanted somewhere to sit. So I didn't really want it to look too much full of glass. I wanted mm. it to have a little bit of a, a living area as well. And mm. did you always have an idea in mind for a conservatory? Um, not to start with. I think, as always, when it's a new house, you're happy with what you've got. But I think it's the view um, out there and having our dining table, which was originally in the uh, kitchen, wanted it to have a better view so coming here you know then the decision was made to make uh, have a conservatory. But did you have much say in in the shape and the design of the conservatory because you obviously knew where you wanted it? Yes that's right they were really helpful and because we kept changing it and and then he would go out and do some more measurements and it had to be extended a little bit further and but they were really helpful you know you didn't get the impression that they were getting fed up with you think, oh, no, I'm not sure about that. And, you know, they were very, very good. So I'm assuming when you do go to um, your retailer, they're very helpful in telling you what would suit the area and to help you with the ambience of what you're looking for. Yeah, that's right. We, we wanted something that would blend in with the house. We didn't want it to look as if it had been added on and looked an eyesore. We wanted it to blend nicely to go in with the house. And they were very considerate about doing that. You know, it's the bricks on the outside, if you had a look, they got the bricks to match the house. It's silly little things like how many lights do you want? We had the, the lights put in, wanted those to go in, and how many did we want? Is that enough? Do you want less? You know, they were very particular about what we wanted. And how much disruption was it for you, and how easy did you find the process of getting the conservatory built? N no disruption whatsoever. They were um, really, it happened really very quickly. Um, and once the guy had been and uh, with his computer and chose our design, decided on what we wanted, uh, they went off the phone and think, and within about two three weeks they were in digging up the foundations ready to go. So speaking a bit about design, it's a very particular area here for you, isn't it? I think it was very important you were saying earlier, solidity of the conservatory and flowing in with the feel of the house, and especially with this roof, which is stunning with your deep helmets on the side and your spotlights and the way it points, is this exactly what you had in mind? Yeah, I wanted, I didn't want a, a, your, the old fashioned type conservatory. I wanted it to look like a room, but to have as much light from the glass as it's got. Um, I wanted us to enjoy our scenery, but it also to make it cozy, especially in the evenings when we put the lights on. So, you know, it just adds that to a, makes it a little bit more of a dining room in the evening and then you've got your sofa for the the day and the light from all the glass so yeah that was one of the reasons why we picked to have the I don't know what you would call it's them. It's called a living room, actually, aptly named. Oh, really? Um, to give that feel of cosiness yeah. and space. So it, it so it does become part of the living space. Mm. And I think as well with the climate control in here, it will help to keep, keep, it, warm. keep it warm, especially yeah. in the winter months. Mm. And very interestingly, the roof is made, it's a bespoke roof made for the area you live in, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, so I believe so. when you first start to look, you, you pop in your postcode and then it's made with your area in particular. So I think here you get you get quite high winds. Yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> so it's just slightly different from conservatories in other areas because of those winds. Mm. So if you were to live somewhere which had a lot of snow, it would be changed again. Yeah, so very yeah. technical, but very clever. It's quite important to you as a, as a family base to be able to have a space that you can enjoy, especially with this much light in the evenings, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. With the boys as well, it's nice. We have sitting on our dining room table with the boys and then we can kick them out. 
<laughs> and having a nice sofa. Have some romance yeah. in the evenings. <laughs> yeah. So how would you describe your overall experience from the very start to the end? Very smooth. Um, I don't think there was any, well there wasn't, there were no hiccups along the way at all. It was a very smooth process. I think a fear for a lot of people when they're picking a conservatory is the worry about costs for heating a space and hidden costs as well and even building it mm. and did you find that there was any surprises in that area or was it what you it, expected? I think the price was exactly what we expected there were no hidden costs it, they said the price and that was it there was nothing else added or taken away it was as it was so yes it was perfect there were no problems at all. And now you can sit here for the rest of your days enjoying that absolutely beautiful view out the valley. Oh yeah definitely. <laughs> Lovely. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. I have to say, I think they've done a stunning job here. Yeah, me too. It's lovely. It's my room, this is. <laughs>